Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to send ATG certificate over WhatsApp for NGO donations received via cash free. So I have a NGO and my objective is that whenever a donor is going to do a donation via cash free, then I want to generate a ATG certificate for that donor and want to send that certificate via WhatsApp. So now to do this, I need to build a connection between these applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this, my trigger application will be cash free payments and my action applications will be Google Docs, Google Drive and WhatsApp Cloud API. So as my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a donation via cash free, then automatically a ATG certificate will be generated for the donor and then it will be sent via WhatsApp. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to send ATG certificate over WhatsApp for NGO donations received via cash free. I am an owner of an NGO and my objective is that whenever I am going to receive a donation for my NGO via cash free, then I want to generate a ATG certificate for the donor and send it to the donor via WhatsApp. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this here is the landing page and as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach our dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as send ATG certificate over WhatsApp for NGO donations received via cash free. So on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this automation in the folder named as ATG certificate automation because this automation will help you to generate ATG certificates automatically and send it to the donor via WhatsApp. So now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow, we can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my objective that is, to send ATG certificate over WhatsApp for NGO donations received via cash free. So here in Pabli Connect, I will go to my trigger window and over here, I'm going to select cash free as my trigger application and here it is. Now moving to the trigger event. So here from this trigger event option, you can select these many triggers. So I am going to receive a payment via form. So over here, my trigger event will be payment via form. So this trigger will start working whenever a payment will be paid via the payment form which I've created. So now moving to my action window. As by using Google Docs, I've already generated a template. So this here is the template. So over here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to use Google Docs as my action application. And here it is. And now the action event will be to create document from template. So it will create a new document from a template. So I'm going to select it. So now once the certificate will be generated, then I want to send this via WhatsApp. So in order to do that here, I will click on this add action step. And now over here, I'm going to search for WhatsApp Cloud API as my action application. So by using WhatsApp Cloud API, I'm going to send this message to the donor and the action event will be to send template message. So as you can see that I have selected my action applications and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a payment through cash free, then I want to generate a ATG certificate for that donor and send it via WhatsApp. So now to do this, firstly, I need to establish a connection between cash free and Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, over here you can see a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect cash free with Pabli Connect. So here I will follow the instructions and take you to my cash free account. And over here in cash free, I'm in test mode. 
So here I will go to payment forms and click on try test environment. And over here, I will scroll down and as per the instructions, I will go to developers. So here in developers, I will go to webhooks. So here I will click on this payment form because we are receiving the donation through a form. So over here, I'm going to add a webhook endpoint. So I will so here I will click on add webhook endpoint. So over here I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Babli Connect, I'm going to copy this. And over here in cache free, I'm going to paste it and click on test and add. So here you can see that the status is success. So here I'm going to click on add. So you can see that response code 200 webhook added successfully. So as you can see that a new webhook is added over here and when I've clicked on test, so that means a test response would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So here you can see that I have received a test response and here are the test response details. So now I'm going to recapture a webhook response and now here I'm going to click on yes. So over here you can see it is waiting for webhook response. So I have removed the test response from here and now I'm going to capture a new response. So again, I'm going to take you to my cash free account and over here as the connection is successful between cash free and public connect. Now I'm going to take you to the payment form that I've created. So here under payment form, this is the form that I've created and the form code is NGO donation. Here you can see the form ID and this here is the URL for the form. So I'm going to copy this form URL and I'm going to open this in incognito mode so I can do a donation and show you that the response will be successfully captured in Pabli Connect. So as I'm in test mode, so this will be a test donation. So I'm going to take you to a new incognito window and this here is the payment form that I've created to receive donations. So let's say I'm going to enter the donation amount of 50,000 and here the name will be dummy user and over here I'm going to mention a phone number and here I'm going to mention an email address that will be dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com so over here I filled in the details in this payment form for the donation so now I'm going to click on pay securely so over here I will go to proceed to payment and now here I'm going to use card for this donation. So here these are the test card. So I'm going to use this test card and I'm going to mention the name as dummy user. Here I'm going to mention the expiry date of this card. This is also a dummy one and this here is a dummy CVV. So I'm going to click on pay now. And now here I need to mention the OTP. So over here the dummy OTP is given below and now I'm going to click on pay. So here it says payment successful payment for NGO donation 50,000 that means the donation has been made successfully and the response of this donation would have been captured in public connect. So I'm going to take you to public connect. So here in public connect I have received the response and over here you can see the details. So here you can see the time here is the amount here is the phone number name and along with the email address and the donation that was made. So here you can see that the donation details is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever I'm going to receive a donation through cash free, then automatically the details of that donation will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So as I've successfully got the donation details and now I want to generate an ATG certificate for that donor. So as I've mentioned that in Google Docs, I have already created a template. So here in Pabli Connect, I need to establish a connection between Google Docs and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. So here you can see that Google Docs and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to template document. So this here is the template by the name of ATG certificate and this is how the certificate looks like. Here you can see the signature, here are the details and this here is the certificate which I want to generate. So here in Pabli Connect, I have selected a template document as ATG certificate. 
so now moving to new documents name so here i need to enter the name for the document so here let's say that i'm going to keep the name as dummy user and now i'm going to mention it as atg certificate so this here is the name of the document so as you would have noticed that over here from the response received i have mentioned the name of the donor so basically this method is called as mapping so mapping means to insert the data from previous step so as i've received the response from cash free so from that response i have taken the name of the donor and then i have named this document as dummy user atg certificate so now moving to the new documents location so here in google drive i have created a folder by the name of atg certificates folder so in this folder i want to save the document so here in public connect from this drop down i have selected my documents location now moving to these details so here to mention the details in these fields i'm going to use a method that is mapping which basically means to insert the data from previous step so as i've received the details from cash free so in these fields i'm going to map the details from that response so now moving to the date so over here you can see that the date is given along with the time but as in the template i only want to mention the date so here in pably connect to just get the date over here in this field i'm going to click on this add action step and over here i'm going to use text formatter so text formatter will help me to split the date from time so over here the action event will be to split the text now i'm going to click on connect so over here now in the text to split field from the response received i'm going to map the event date and time now here the separator will be t so i'm going to mention it and now as i want to fetch the date only i want to split the date so here the segment index will be first and now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as i did that here you can see that i have successfully got the date so as i've got it now i will go back to google docs action window so now moving to this date field now from the response received from text formatter i'm going to map the date so now moving to the donor name so again from the response received i'm going to map the donor name now moving to the email so this here is the email and i have mapped it now moving to the donor code so over here i'm going to map the donor code moving to the amount that was a 50000 so here i have mapped it moving to the receipt number so here this is the receipt number i have mapped it so now moving to the receipt date so this here is the date i have mapped it moving to the mode of payment so the mode of payment is cash free so over here i am going to mention it manually so this here is the mode of payment so now moving to the reference number that will be cash free underscore and over here from the response received i've got the id so here i'm going to map it so here i've mapped it so as you can see that i have mapped the details in all of these fields this method of mapping is important so that every time you are going to receive a new response so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so in order to avoid that problem we map the information so as i've mapped the details successfully now i'm going to click on save and send test request so here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive response that means a atg certificate would have been generated for this donor that is dummy user so i'm going to take you to my google docs and let me show you that over here in google docs so over here in google docs this here is the certificate which is generated for dummy user so over here in the certificate you can see all of the details here you can see the name email over here you can see the date here's the receipt number receipt date mode of payment reference number and this here is the amount of the donation so that means a atg certificate is generated for this donor and here in my google drive you can see that in this folder by the name of atg certificate folders this certificate is mentioned so here in pably connect as it was a positive response a certificate is generated now i want to send the certificate to the donor via whatsapp so as you can see right now this document is private to only me so in order to make it accessible i will go to pably connect so over here i'm going to add this action step and as this document is saved in my google drive so here i'm going to use google drive as my action application and now to make this document accessible so here i'm going to select share a file with anyone as my action event so now i need to connect it so i'm going to click on connect 
and as i've already signed it with my google account once in this workflow so here i'm going to click on save with the existing connection so here you can see that google drive and pably connect is successfully connected so now moving to file id so instead of selecting the file id from this drop down i'm going to map it so as i've got this file id from the response from google docs so i'm just going to map it so as i've already mentioned that mapping is a very important step so that every time you're going to receive a new response so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields if you are going to write this information manually or select it from the drop down then the information will become static which means that it wouldn't change even if you are going to receive a new response so in order to avoid that problem and make the workflow run smoothly we map the information so as i've mapped the file id here i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive response so over here you can see it says drive permission anyone with link and over here in the response we have got different type of links so this here is the link for the pdf so here you can see it so now i'm going to take you to the document so here in google drive i'm going to open this document so here you can see that this document is now shareable so it says anyone with the link has access to this document so as now this certificate is shareable so now i will go back to pably connect and over here as i want to send this atg certificate to the donor via whatsapp so in order to do that i need to establish a connection between whatsapp cloud api and pably connect so here i'm going to click on connect so now in order to add a new connection i need to mention the token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id so in order to do this i'm going to take you to my meta for developers account and over here i will go to my apps and under my apps i will go to this new message app so i've already set up my whatsapp cloud api so if you also want to set up then you can check the video for the same on a youtube channel so here i will go to whatsapp and now i will go to api setup and here in api setup this here is the access token i'm going to copy it and here in pably connect i'm going to paste the same once that is done now i need to mention the phone number id so this here is the phone number id i'm going to copy it and here in pably connect i'm going to paste it now moving for whatsapp business account id so this here is the whatsapp business account id and here in pably connect i'm going to paste it so as i've mentioned the token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id so here i'm going to click on save and here you can see that whatsapp cloud api and pably connect is successfully connected so now moving to the template name so here in whatsapp manager these are the templates which i have created so i want to use this template that is by the name of atg template so i'm going to show you the template as well so this here is my template so over here you can see that after dear and certificate link there are variables so these variables will keep on changing accordingly as per i'm going to receive a new response so as you can see that over here these two variables which i have mentioned will keep on changing accordingly as per i'm going to receive a new response so whenever i'm going to receive a new donation then automatically the name of the new donor will be mentioned over here after dear and the certificate link that is generated for that donor will be mentioned over here in this variable so this here is my template and over here in pably connect from this drop down i'm going to select it as atg template so over here you can see that the name is atg template and i've selected the same template in pably connect and over here it has detected the language code and the selected template id so now moving to these details so here in the mobile number part so from the response which i have received i'm going to map the mobile number and here i have mapped it so now moving to the body field so over here as i've mentioned the first variable stands for the name so again from the response received i'm going to mention the name and now moving to the certificate body field so over here from the link that i've received from google drive so here i'm going to map the pdf link and i've mapped it so as you can see that i have mapped the details in these fields but currently this here is a dummy number so i'm going to mention a actual number and show you the whatsapp message that will be sent so over here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive response so before clicking on save and send test request i've mentioned an actual number so that i can show you the response and the whatsapp message that would have been sent so now i'm going to show you the whatsapp message so this here is the whatsapp message that has been sent it goes as dear dummy user we are grateful for your valuable contribution towards our ngo 
Please check the link of ATG certificate of your donation attached below. Here is the certificate link regards XYZ company. So over here you can see that after dear here is the name of the donor and after certificate link here is the link of the certificate. So I am going to open this link and show you the certificate that would have been sent. And this is how the certificate looks like. So this here is the ATG certificate that has been sent successfully to the donor. So here you can see that in the certificate all of the details of the donor are mentioned over here successfully. That means now whenever I am going to receive a new donation through cash free then automatically a ATG certificate will be generated for that donor and it will be sent via WhatsApp. So this automation is a successful one. That means now whenever I am going to receive a new donation for my NGO via cash free then automatically a ATG certificate will be created for that donor and it will be sent via WhatsApp automatically. So that means a new donation received and then automatically a certificate will be generated and then it will be sent across to the donor via WhatsApp. So if you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.